Hey, what is up guys, Oblivious here, and today this is going to be a IW gameplay. I get a 20 kill streak, because in this game, a Deatomizer is 25, I'm using the Fallout with no silencer here, the enemy 4 Fallout, obviously, and I think I get a 20, kill, uh, 20 gun streak, and then I'm 5 away, and then I get killed by a... I'm not going to tell you I die. Just watch till the end. It's fucking terrible. But I don't really know if the video is more about the commentary or about the gameplay, but I'm going to make it more about the commentary. So I've just recently started playing Black Ops 1, if you saw my most recent gameplay. Like again, I bought the reverse pin compatible version on the Xbox Live store. So I was playing that and I started thinking about different things in like CODs that they either took away or added over the years that I think like all of the CODs, should, like future CODs all should have. Like comes like little things too. They're not even like big things. But we're going to get into them. Um, so the first one is like I talked about it before, like crypto games with like crypto keys or whatever, like the last like two or whatever with um, I'm pretty sure I, I don't know if Advanced, Advanced Warfare had them either. No, no, Advanced Warfare didn't. But it was just on Black Ops 3 in this one. If they're going to keep adding like keys and salvage and stuff like that, I think they should make it so that you can have like a, a, like a Black Ops 1 credit system where you can go and like do wagers for crypto keys. So that's how you can get more and like the more talented players actually get like you get like kind of rewarded for doing well and you can get them more easier. I think that's a great idea because then like, like you basically, you had to grind and win a few like high roller wagers. I think it was like two to um, get a gold weapon. So if I want to get like a, the, what's it called? The igloo breaker or something like that. The K bar that can get a nuclear. I want to be able to do that by like getting rewarded or something like that. So that's just kind of one idea. The next one is the one, the weird thing is when you pause the game in like old CODs, you could see how much XP you needed to level up. Like on the very bottom screen, there was a bar and it like filled up with yellow XP, like showing how far away you are from that level. And they took it away. I don't know where, the, when they took it away. It might've been like ghosts, but I think that's just like a simple thing and it should be in the game. Like it, it, I actually use it a lot like mid game. I'm like, oh shit, let me pause real quick. Okay. I'm about to get level 55 or something like that. Uh, the next one, I actually think prestige tokens. That was a good idea on the like more recent CODs, I guess. Like the fact that you, you don't have to like say if you want to use the the fad from uh, what game was that the NW3 or like this game I don't even know what the active camo or something like that because I know they're it's pretty high up it's like level 52 or 53. Um, if you don't like you I don't want to have to wait for that like I don't have to, I don't want to only be able to use that like that weapon or that perk for the last like three levels of each prestige until I decide to like stop prestiging and i'm like finding the the master prestige or whatever so i think prestige tokens are a great idea if you have a gun that like it's unlocked later and like you're in the like the the, the prestiging like level i mean the the leveling up level i think you should be able to pre like prestige tokens so you can actually use it for like forever now like i i feel like that's actually a great idea that they had him um the next thing was i think only black ops 3 has done it i don't know if infinite warfare did it either but um they, they made it so that you can't join and there's the by the way how i died i died by a fucking bull charge he got my teammate and then got me and i was i was actually pissed i watched like the kill cam i got so pissed but um the next thing is that you can't join your own like once you leave a game uh you shouldn't be able to like once you leave the game, you shouldn't be able to join back in the very same game. I, I actually hate that. Black Ops 1, I did that the other day. I was like, oh, fuck, this game of TDM, I'm getting railed. Like, it was, I joined halfway through, and I was just getting railed, so I left, and then joined another game, and it was the exact same game. So I don't, I, I think Black Ops 3, or maybe AW is the first person to do that, but I think that's a great idea. I don't think you should be able to join back in the exact same game. Um, the next thing is, like, I think this is kind of like, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of, like, liked it when it happened, was in World of War, when you can blow people's limbs off with, like, a trench gun and stuff, stuff. I mean, I actually don't think that's completely necessary. This was, I just wrote it down because I, I thought it was cool when it happened. I mean, I actually don't really care if they put it in CODs or not. Um, the next thing is a weird one because I actually like the way, like, newer games call in score streaks or, like, like, I don't like the Black Ops 1, the way you call in a care package. You get out, like, a little thing, you throw it down, and in new games, all you have to do is, like, you have a little, like, armband thing that you just, like, point at the ground and then call it in. And then, like, uh, like v Orbital VSAT, I mean, not Orbital VSAT, like, uh, the SATCOM, I think it was called on Ghost which is the UAV, you had to like lay it down on the ground and then people come up and knife it. I don't like that. Like I like when it's like quick, easy to put down your score streaks, unless they're one that you actually have to like get into, like an AC-130 or something like that, then obviously get try to find a nice corner and then bring out your little tablet or whatever. But I actually much like it more, like when UAVs and counter AVs, you shouldn't have to like waste your time to like put them down because you're trying to like support the team like quickly that you can like re re recycle them a lot. And then, like if you die calling a score, like I've di I actually, I started using a, what was it? I don't even remember what I used, but something in Black Ops where you had to throw like, like a, one of the little fucking tear gas containers or smoke grenades, like with green smoke so that you can call in like a dr airdrop. Um, I got killed like twice while having that thing out because it's just like, I don't know. I just tried to throw it as quick as soon as, like basically as soon as I got, as soon as I got it. Sorry. Um, and the last thing 
that I could think of was uh, in NWR when you run you like you cancel your reload and I actually much like it more when you can reload while running I don't know if that's a perk that like IW and Black Ops 3 had I don't really think it is it could be like dexterity or some weird perk like that that I accidentally use but not for like that major purpose I'm about to die I don't know why <clears throat> but um yeah I think that should be a thing because it's actually like, super annoying when I'm playing NWR, but I'm used to playing with the last like four CODs where you can actually like, run, run while reloading and then it stops reloading. I'm like, fuck. So then like, it just makes it like overall like a slower game, which I mean, that game is very slow and I, maybe I'm just like tainted by fucking the new CODs that I, I can't play as slow Call of Duty anymore. But these are just the things that I thought of. If you guys thought of like think of anything that I didn't think of, please comment below because I'm actually very interested in hearing what you guys want to hear about like like what should be in the game i think like the one of the weirdest things that they don't have anymore is um the fact that they don't have the xp on the pause menu i don't know why they took that away like there's literally no downside like it doesn't like affect anything really but i really like that and then the prestige tokens are probably the thing that they added that i like the best and maybe or the the calling of the score streak i think is a lot better than it was before but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like rating um there's obviously gonna be a lot more gameplay other than the 25 kill streak just because the, that if gameplay was only like three minutes and this video is going on for six minutes so hope you guys are having a great day subscribe for more content leave a like goodbye i love you